Welcome to Scion Labs. You are subject 452. You're here to test our new split technology. We'll be having you run a series of tests that will challenge both your cognitive and platforming abilities. However, before we get to any of that, we've got a small introduction course for you. It's really just a formality to make sure you know your basics. There are a number of actions you'll be performing throughout these tests. At any point, you can refer to the context actions list to see what actions you can perform and how you can perform them. Got that? Great. Moving on. You may find that during certain difficult tests you want to return to the menu. To do that, you can hit the menu button at any time. That about wraps it up. Good luck. One final thing before we finish up here. Legally speaking, we need your consent to continue running these tests. To cover us, we've gone ahead... I know you're still getting your footing, but as per company policy, I'm required to read you a safety notice. There's a lot of stuff in here about what to do in the event of a fire or first aid training, but I'll just skip over that. What I really want to focus on is red buttons. Don't press them under any circumstances. Now, I know what you're thinking. If I shouldn't press any red buttons during the test, then why did you put them there? That's the thing. We didn't. To this day, we can't figure out where these red buttons are coming from. Every time we see one, we remove it, but they just keep popping back up. We're not really sure what they do yet, but they're red. That can't be good. Jumps 452. Not quite as impressive as subject 451, but I mean, hey, who's keeping track? Anyways, keep up the good work. Wait a sec, 452, are you still in there? Jeez, sorry, I didn't realize you were still using this test chamber. I just looked at the start time and figured that someone forgot to mark it as completed. I mean, who could possibly be that slow? You, apparently. It's actually quite impressive in its own way. Anyways, I'll just leave the lights on overnight and check back on you tomorrow morning. Good luck!
452, are you by chance feeling an itching sensation on your head? We've just got word that the last test you did was infested with bioengineered scalp spiders. It's something that our scientists created to combat head lice, and it's worked wonderfully. The only problem is that to get rid of the scalp spiders, you need scalp scorpions, and then after that, scalp lizards. Anyways, try not to worry about it too much. Just focus on the testing for now. Think you're smart, huh? Look at me, I found a small flaw in the test. I wrote Think you're smart, huh? Look at me, I found a small flaw in the test. I wrote the box instead of getting in the basket. It's not like the test designers could have foreseen this. Well, guess what? We did. We designed a test within a test to see if you could predict that we were testing the fact Fun fact, originally the panels in this room would attempt to launch you to space when you stepped on the same panel twice. Very quickly we realized that any type of launching technology tends to work better when there's no ceiling involved. Just be glad you're not subject 87. We had to custom order a ladder so we could clean up that mess.
I'm going to be completely honest with you. This test has nothing to do with split technology. It's our lunch break up here, and we're taking bets on how long it'll take you to make it up the incline. No pressure, 452, but if you could go ahead and finish at about the three minute mark, my wallet would thank you. Bad news, 452. It turns out that even with the major difficulty drop in this test, you're still significantly lagging behind the original test's worst times. I'd say I'm... Now, this room may not look like much, but the technology going on here is quite amazing. Our top scientists have found a way to convert crossword puzzles into blocking puzzles. Isn't that neat? You don't need to understand the technical aspects behind how solving a blocker puzzle translates to a crossword, but Carolyn Accounting would really appreciate if you could solve these before Sunday's paper arrives. Fantastic news, Ford 52. Recently, we got the green light to go forward with our in-office daycare program. Now, unlike most offices that enact this type of policy, we're not ones to waste money on children. So we brought them on as unpaid interns instead. The numbers are in, and I'm pleased to say the kids are actually doing better work than their parents. Which brings me to the bad news. Unfortunately, we don't retain dead weight at this company. 
We've decided to end employment contracts for some of our longtime employees in favor of a younger, cheaper alternative. Please join me in silence as we wish them good luck in their future endeavors. Another update for you, 452. Due to recent internal backlash and general uncleanliness, we've decided to end the washrooms are for paying customers only policy. After careful review, we realized we don't actually sell anything, thereby barring anyone from using the facilities. That being said, regardless of how many people sign the in-office petition, Four fifty-two. I wanted to let you know that I've seen myself as a bit of a guardian to you during your time here. Even though your co-subjects are smarter, faster, and better looking, it 
doesn't mean I don't have any respect for you. It just means I have a lot less. quite far into the test at this point, but I'm obligated to tell you that in the event of injury, you can file for compensation.
452, full disclosure, this is objectively one of the hardest tests we have at this facility. We have absolutely zero confidence that you can pull this off, and trust me, I mean absolutely none. You may as well pack it up now and commit to your new life here in this room. Of course, Subject 451 managed to complete the test on their first try, but again, this isn't a rivalry or anything. Take your time. It's not like you're being meticulously judged by a group of scientists or anything. Well, 452, it's been a wild ride. You've come a long way from the last time we were here, and it is with immense joy that I say our testing adventure is finally coming to a close. You are easily my 452nd favorite test subject to walk these halls. Easy choice. I simply ask that you return to your cell so we can process your paperwork, and we'll send you off from there. Is that a red button? Let's keep that out of reach. Move along, 452. Nothing to see here. Your cell's right around the corner. Look at you, following instructions. I can't believe you just willingly walked in. Now that you're here, a bit of bad news. Turns out we're a little low on test subjects right now, so we aren't going to let you, uh, you know, go. I hope you enjoyed your time here because you're not going anywhere.